Shalom, shalom, family. What's good? All praise to Ohio for another blessed day. You know, it's first thing in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Tuesday, hopefully I can get, get this out today. It won't be that long. Um, this this part of the segment anyway. But it's crucial. It's on point. Feel me? Alright. And I'm up early. I want to tend to be up early. Feel me? Because I'm actually off today. But I'm up early. But it's a story behind it. And to a higher be the glory. <clears throat> Alright, family. Excuses. That's what we touching on today, right? Excuses, 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 excuses. All right, fella. Keeping it 100,000. You know what I'm saying? We must make sacrifices, right? To do the most highest will. Like, it just don't, it just don't get no, no simpler than that. You know, when it comes to doing the most high will, that which he have ordained and commanded for us to do, not only that which is just literally written, but that which is in your spirit that you know you need to do. The things you're working on, the things um, that need to be accomplished. If it's your will, if it's the will of the Most High and it's your purpose, you must do it. It ain't going to be no excuses whatsoever when the Lord returns. It ain't going to be no I was I was working 24/7 ain't had no time. It ain't going to be none of that. Or I was busy with the children. I had to do this and this and that. It ain't going to be no excuses. Feel me? And what I'm doing right now, I know I'm supposed to be doing this, you know what I'm saying? And as the most I put it on my spirit to do it. You know, I can't make it no strict fixed thing. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever the case be. But it's just as the most I put the spirit on me to do this, I'm going to do it. It ain't got to be no super spectacular way. It's just about the word. It's about the truth. It's about getting it out there, right? All right, but like I said, family, we must make sacrifices to do the most I will. Right? Which could mean waking up earlier, getting less sleep. And for me, I know I need that. But I'm up earlier today. And it ain't like I got myself up. I would got up in pain. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to a higher be the glory though, right? We might have to make or take long trips. You know what I'm saying? To do the most high will. We might have to do that inconvenient thing. You know, to fellowship, to build, to get that nourishment we need, or just to get together to do the work, whatever the case be. It's that time. There's no excuses. It's just how we're how we're gonna go about getting it done. That's it. Most I be with us, which he is. And when I'm saying that, I mean Father be with us and help our conscience. You know. So um, also we might have to take a pay cut. You know what I'm saying. You know we might have opportunity for other work, but we might be making a certain amount of money, and then we don't want to. Um, sacrifice and make you know take another job that we can make less and have more time whatever it take yo to get the most i will done because this world is temporal and temporary we got to do the most i will we must fulfill his will it's not gonna fulfill itself we have to do it all right and our work is cut out for us right you know we might have to take your children with you Feel me? I seen that work one time, man. He, you know, people bringing their children in. It was a little special little thing they did at work, but I'm thinking like, yo, mother's bringing their children here to work. I'm thinking like, ah, how, how can I do that? Like, yo, I be focusing in the zone. Like, I don't need no distractions. You know what I'm saying? But I said, yo, mother might have to like really bring their children. If if you got most, I put on the spirit to hit the street. You like, no, I'm watching the children day. Then you, man, you have to, you know, get them ready or take them out there with you. It might not be a convenient thing. I'm just saying. I'm just putting it out there. Not saying, not you know, putting nothing on no one to try to force no one to do anything. I'm just saying, this is the mentality we need to have. That go getter mentality. 
Like, I don't care what's going on. I'm doing the most high will. You know? Got up in pain, feeling all type of ways this morning. <laughs> and I wanted, you know, that sleep that I know I needed. I stayed up later because I knew I was going to get that sleep. Lo and behold, I don't know nothing. But the most high know everything. All right. So, family, we can't give in to convenience. It's not always convenient or easy to do the Father will. It's not going to always be convenient. Everything ain't going to always line up. If it do just line up perfectly, great. But it's some things that the enemy, the devil, man, is sending forces at you to prevent you from fulfilling. So if you just lolly jolly going about your everyday day like these forces ain't at work, you think, well, I can't do this today because this is going on. That's BS. You know what I'm saying? That's an excuse. And excuses is BS. Like, excuses do piss me off and they bother me. But it make, it's even worse when I do it myself and realize I'm doing it. Sometimes I do it, don't even know it. That's why I need y'all to let me know, family, wife. <laughs> let me know. Like, it, it's serious business. I ain't no time for excuses and playing around. Nah, it ain't. Right? So, um, like I just mentioned, we have to put up a fight against these forces coming against us to stall us, attempting to pre prevent us from fulfilling purpose. Right? So, um, oh, yeah, I'm going to run that back again, family. Sorry. So, we have to put up a fight against these evil, wicked, demonic spirits and forces that's being sent at us. Don't you know, don't y'all know it's people praying against us? Like, they take our time to pray and fast that we fail, that our marriages fail, that we fail at fulfilling purpose, and they making sacrifices and praying until they, they wicked gods or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That these things be manipulating forces and stuff. This thing is real, spiritual warfare. So you got to have a go-getter mentality and spirit in you. To fulfill your purpose. If you don't, you're not. Alright, so um and to be told, many not many gonna come up short in the day of the Lord. Many of y'all gonna come up short in the day of the Lord. But I refuse to come up short. Like I'm not. No matter what sacrifice it takes on this earth, I'm gonna fulfill the most high will. And I'm encouraging y'all to do the same thing too, so we encourage one another to do it. Feel me? A higher will be done regardless of anything. That means no fear. That means no one can't manipulate you. Say, hey, man, if you don't do this, you, I'm up. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, because I had a situation where it really could have cost me my job. But I'm like, yo, forget what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to do the most high will. And the seriousness, seriousness in that shaped that whole environment around me and I didn't have to verbally say that but what was communicated was that respect him and respect his view and respect his opinion you feel me if I don't want to partake in something or if I don't know what it's dealing with then I want nothing to do with it and that's just that right you know so fear didn't shape me and th that was used must threaten like yo i'm a i'm a uh <laughs> i'm gonna tell the supervisor that you refused i'm thinking like yo you could tell him whatever you want to tell him like uh, how you bless me with this job you know what i'm talking about and he could take it away real talk but i step away if they don't if, if, if they trying to impose the force they will on me like i respect authority and work is showing me that to respect authority, but let's get back to business, family. And I'm saying that because it's significant. You know what I'm saying? All right. Hey, baby, but you got to wait. All right. So many, many going to come up short in the day of the Lord, but I refuse to. And y'all better have that mentality like, yo, I'm not coming up short. I'm not going to be sitting here on my butt talking about some why I can't do this or why I can't do that. Forget that. I'm going in. I'm going hard. Or how it will be done, let's get it. Even if you by yourself, you know what I'm saying? You don't need nobody else around you. You don't need an entourage to do the Father's will that he predestined you to do. 
But he will bless you with an entourage. He will bless you with all that if you need that to fulfill his will. But you're still going to have to step out and do what you need to do yourself. You know, a lot of people just going to see the, see the go-getter in you and be like, yo, man, this brother's serious about certain things. And that's going to move them to be more serious, too. You got to encourage one another, exhort one another unto good works. And a lot of that just got to do with living it and just doing it. All right. So finally, it's time to get serious. Feel me? It's time to get focused and stay focused, right? Put your game face on. Put your game face on, right? Your countenance is an expression of what's in your heart. So if you're serious about doing the Father's will and you understand the spiritual forces that are coming against us and you see that they're trying to prevent you from your reward in the kingdom, they're trying to stall and prevent you from eternal life and you're entertaining it by entertaining the thoughts that the demons putting in your head, you know, because we come up with some of the best excuses. I don't care what nobody. Israel come up with the best excuses, yo, to absolutely do nothing. Lazy. But we supposed to be go-getters. All right. <clears throat> so overall, family, no excuses. They ain't saying overall, but no excuses, right? And this is confession I got, you know, right here, right quick. Just, just, just now, just this morning, right? Got a feeling, like I said, all type of way. Pain, like, in the, yo, serious pain. Stomach pain. I'm like, yo, what in the world? I thought I was going to get some sleep. But it all go back to the word. Because the most high be magnified in the apocrypha is state. You feel me? Um, what I think it's a fetch something about fetching not and, and, and have mercy. Y'all look, it's in the apocrypha. I could give you the scriptures, but talking about fetching not, um, like basically running quick to bed and excess of eating and all of that. I ain't think I ate that much last night. You feel me? You know, I had more on my mind and I stopped. I said, you know, hey, I'm, I'm good for now. Hey, I'm straight. You know, but, nah, I got to watch what I eat, you know what I'm talking about? And, you know, I, I, I want to eat a little more than what I need to eat of that type of food. And I'm, I'm going to be real, with meat, you feel me? Like, I'm not a vegetarian, but, yo, I got to respect my body. Like, when it comes to, like, certain meats, you know. And, and that's another thing, too. That's a sacrifice, too, family. When you know your body responds to something you don't need, like it could be uh, some, one of your favorite foods or something, you have to deal with that moderately. And my body reminds me. I thank the most high for that. Because I'm sure there's plenty of people, your body don't respond, but you just be all, you know, all up in the flesh. You don't open up doors and stuff for these spirits, you know, gluttony or whatever else the case be, but... My body literally responds. Like right now, I'm feeling it right now. My stomach's still hurt. It's better. But let's get back into this confession. So um, when I got up the way I was feeling, instantly, I didn't know I'd be doing this. First of all, I sat down and it got up. I had to get up. I'm like, let me get some water. And um, I need to do some yard work today. Y'all might can hear that rain. I need to do some yard work today. That must get done, Right? All right, so I started second guessing doing the yard work. And all right, then I thought, you know, I was like, man, what suit I'm in here is early five o'clock in the morning. Let me just, you know, I could I could get some reading in. And I was like, no, my Bible in the car is raining. I got a whole bunch of stuff piled in the car. I'm gonna have to find my my, my bag with all my my Bible and stuff in it. I'm like, man, it's dark outside. You know, all these excuses. Then it. Mm, mm, mm. Then when I, I laid back and chill and it hit me. You call yourself devout? <laughs> you call yourself a devout servant? A devout servant is a go-getter. They go hard for theirs. What excuse is it if you devout? Man, I jumped up. <laughs> Like, yo, where my shoes at? Where my jacket at? Like, yo, I'm finna go get this Bible. Like, yeah, like, forget this, yo. I, I instantly realized through the grace of Ohio, there was a spiritual attack. The Most High got me up for a reason. You understand? I'm feeling the pains I'm feeling for a reason for my own. What I did, my own sin, the Father forgive me. Open confession, shoot. I gotta watch 
that red meat. You know what I'm talking about? You know, predominantly, you know, um, but I got to do that in moderation and respect that, you know. So I was up, but I needed to be up to do this anyway because it's something else I prepared to, um, to show.